A common symptom of fanboyism is cognitive dissonance, where the same people will have contradicting opinions without realizing it. One Piece has created millions of such fanboys, and you see it in plain sight when they title their videos with words such as Oda lied to us, the latest revelation broke One Piece, the story will never be the same again. They say such things as if they are positive, when they are clearly not. How is the author lying to you a good thing? He betrayed the trust you showed him. How is breaking the consistency of the story every week a good thing when it makes it incomprehensible? How is not being able to have a clear picture about the story because the story keeps getting retconned every week a good thing when it's impossible to follow it? Well, if you're a fanboy, everything is good. And if you're a theory crafter, it's great. Because you are basically building sandcastles based on what you are told is going on. Then Oda stomps on them every week and says, I lied, this is not what's going to happen, make another castle. So you make another sandcastle and he stomps on it again. Since the latest revelation broke One Piece. So it's nothing like what you are making there and you have to start from scratch again. So you make another castle and he stomps on that again. Because the story is not the same anymore. Thus, there is no point in making castles, since you know Oda is going to lie and he's going to break one piece and the story will change over and over and over and over again. It's an exercise in futility, yet the fanboys have the exact opposite opinion and think they are doing something great with all their theories, which are always proven to be wrong, since Oda lies, one piece breaks and the story becomes different every week. A normal person would find that stupid and would drop this nonsense for a story where the author does not betray his trust, the plot doesn't constantly derail, and you can't follow what is going on. One Piece fanboys don't do that and think it's the best author making the best plot because it's a complete mess. Pure cognitive dissonance that will only turn into coping once the show ends and they realize what a steaming pile of shit it was all along and how idiotic they were to waste decades of their lives in overthinking a story made for children.